As we keep an eye on developments in New Mexico and Nebraska, there are new concerns about what's being done to prevent a Fukushima-style disaster here at home. In all, there are 104 nuclear sites across America, with three under siege right now. But officials at the Nuclear Regulatory Commission insist there is no need for panic. But as wildfires swell and floodwaters rise, when will it be time to raise the red flag? I'm joined now by Michio Kaku, Professor of Physics at the City University of New York here. And good afternoon, sir. We've got a raging forest fire on the doorstep of the Los Alamos National Lab and nuclear reactors in Nebraska partially underwater. Is this unprecedented? This is unprecedented. This is a triple whammy, a triple threat that we've never seen before. Two commercial plants, one weapons plant under siege. We're talking about the 100-year storm, the 100-year fire. We were assured that these would not happen for 100 years, and yet they're happening. How dangerous is the situation? Well, at Fukushima, uh, we had a tipping point that was reached within about a minute with the tsunami. Here in Nebraska, we have time. It's basically Fukushima in slow motion. The magic number is 1,014. When the water flood levels reach 1,014 feet, game over. It's all over. At that point, you're talking about flooding, short circuits, pumps, generators are out. But we're not there. And we don't expect that to be there anytime soon. Now, our correspondent just now was saying that floodwaters are beginning to descend. Uh, so there's not such a, a fear in relation to Nebraska. We dodged the bullet at the present time. Okay, but what about the nuclear facility at Los Alamos? Uh, what kind of risks are there there? Well, that fire is out Because I'm out assuming control. there's a vast amount of nuclear waste being held at that plant. The Los Alamos National Laboratory, the good news is we no longer store hydrogen and atomic bombs there. However, we have a particle accelerator, small reactors, and large quantities of nuclear waste involving plutonium, the most toxic chemical known to science. A microgram, you can't even see a microgram dust particle, in your lungs can cause lung cancer. And there are between 20,000 to 30,000 barrels, 55-gallon drums, of plutonium waste stored on site. That's horrendous then. So if that was in any way impacted by, by these conditions, there could be a serious outcome. Well, remember that most of the nuclear sites at Los Alamos have been secured, okay? They've been locked down, so we know there's not going to be any danger from the accelerator from the smaller reactors. The danger is areas that are not locked down. And what happens if the fire breaches the firewalls and goes right into the site itself? The fire is at the doorstep of Los Alamos right now. That's how close it is. And once the fire begins to spread into the building itself, it's a science experiment as to whether or not all our safety locks and redundancies will hold. Would you recommend moving the nuclear waste to somewhere else? Is that possible? It's to not perhaps possible. a less endangered area. It's not possible now in the sense that people are scrambling to evacuate people off site, to secure these sites. Uh, basically, it's not possible given the chaos of the present moment because it's not under control by any means. Do you think that we should change the circumstances in which, in which we hold this kind of nuclear waste? Do you think that there should be some new plans, new rules of some kind th that mean a fire doesn't come up to the gates of Los Alamos in the way that this has? It's an accident waiting to happen. Eleven years ago, we even had a bigger fire at Los Alamos. This is now Act Two in this game. And in 2009, the Department of Energy issued a scathing report stating that local fire crews are not trained to handle a situation with sophisticated equipment, nuclear weapons, parts, and plutonium. They're simply outgunned by the sophisticated equipment. So what should we do? I think we should begin to think about moving some of these sites away from uh, Los Alamos and realize that the whole purpose of Los Alamos is stockpile stewardship. That is to maintain our nuclear stockpile. And at the present time, it could be unstable, especially in areas with, with forest fires. Dr. Michio Kaku, thanks so much for joining us.